Hello guys, welcome to this tutorial. I'm going to show you how to make a HTML document in Notepad. This uh, this tutorial is just to show you how it works and get you doing some basic techniques on it and how to set up a website with this software. By the end of this tutorial, you will ex I'll expect that you should be able to make a website like this. Right, let's get started. First, you need to start off like this. This just tells you that it is a HTML document. Then, you need to do this and put in head. This is basically everything that makes the page work. We're going to use this first to make a title. To make a title, just put in the tag in the wrap, which is basically the two uh, little triangles at the side. You put in title and close it. Then put something that has a title like this is the title. And then do that and then do forward slash title. The forward slash is basically say that we are finished with this certain command. Right. To save it, just press File, Save As, and then you should save it as whatever you want it to be, then then put dot HTML. Then I will. I will you meant to click save, but I'm going to click cancel because I already have one saved. Right. Okay. Now, we're going to put in a body. Actually, we're going to put in efforts to put in the head, the closing head. This is basically saying that we've finished with the head. And we're not going to put anything else in the head. Now we're going to start off with the body. So make a body wrap. And then. This is basically everything that's inside the main bit of your website. What everyone's going to see. Right, so just write something first. This is my first website. And then close the body. Then save it. And then got a five. This is mm, first website. It's going to be my first website, but it's still proving that it's working. Right. Now we are going to edit this, firstly put in Y, and then we're going to put a font, to do a font, put font, space, face, and then equals, then do a speech mark, then Arial, and do a close speech mark, and then close the wrap. So complete to make sure it's closed, you have to remember to put the forward slash and font, and then do that. Right. And save it, control S or file saved. I'll do both. And then go into it and then press F5. That's definitely Arial. Right. Now, we're going to change the size of it. So click that and size equals speech mark. It's normally on 3, we're going to change it to 5 and close the speech mark. 
Or you can change whichever one you want, but I'm going to change 5 just to demonstrate. Then press Ctrl S or the file and save. And then F5 or refresh. And as you see, it automatically gets bigger. Right. The final thing I'm going to show you in this tutorial is how to do the colour of the of the text. So put colour equals speech mark red close speech mark. You can put it any colour you want and I'm just going to put red. Then do this and then press F5 and it goes red. Then I'm going to show you what happens if you don't put a speech mark in. As you see, I've took that one out. But press Ctrl S, and then press F5. That happens. As you see, it has just came out loads, with loads of coding. So put in the speech mark again. Ctrl S. Just prove I'm doing it. File and save. And then it goes back. Right. Just to finish off, put tag open, then put forward slash HTML. Just to tidy it up a bit and make the programming work. Then control save, and that's it. Subscribe if you want to watch more videos, and thank you for watching.